So, if you guys haven't heard, there's a new champion on the block that was just released for Legends of Runeterra. And he goes by the name of Nasus. Nasus. And he's a pretty big dude. And uh, pretty big right now as far as how successful a certain deck is that people have been playing. So, we saw this deck... Uh, during the OLS tournament, I wanted to take a sec to go over it. So, my name, Shit Just Works, as always, going to go over some, uh, or at least one of the new decks going on right now, and that is Nasus Thresh. We're going to go through the deck itself, followed by a couple of games here. Actually, both against Karma Ezreal, too. Karma Ezreal seems to be popping up again as a pretty popular deck. And, um, god damn, is Nasus fun. Everybody gave Nasus a lot of shit when he first came out, but he turned out to be a pretty damn good card. Uh, he's basically a better they who endure, is, is a good way to put it. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Nasus Thresh, uh, kind of, I don't know, what the heck is the name of this deck? I don't know, Nasus Atrocity? I don't know, I guess we'll have to figure that one out. Okay, no, actually, you know what? I'm calling out what am I because he decided that he wanted to name that freaking deck Go Fish. We need a name. What do you got, man? Huh? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do you got for this deck? Right now, I got no clue. I, it's 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 Nasus, they who endure, not they who endure because it's not in the deck. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we got Nasus Thresh with bum 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 atrocity and the ultimate goal here if you guys couldn't figure it out yet is getting a big old bad nasus on the field after you've slain a bunch of units and uh going ahead and playing atrocity good old reliable atrocity now a couple differences with they who endure uh once this hits the field it continues to grow so you can actually play nasus and not have to worry about having to hold on to it until it actually represents lethal which is a problem that they who endure had now granted they who endure has overwhelmed so when you do drop it you kind of are guaranteeing that damage is going through so a little bit of a difference a little bit of upside of they who endure a little bit of upside of nasus also nasus uh very importantly is only six mana uh whereas they who endure is seven and they who endure used to be six mana right so just something to take into consideration there with Nasus. Um, otherwise, this deck, super, super fun. This freaking, this card, this card, look at it. You're going to be seeing a lot of this card. This makes Sharima kind of control or combo decks a thing. The, oh my God, even against Karma Ezreal, I don't know if we see it in these two games coming up, but holy Jesus, Karma Ezreal, like if you're putting multiple spells on the stack and then you end with a red negation, all of it goes down the drain. So now your opponent needs to play around a right of negation, negating multiple spells. It's not like a deny. It's, it's different than a deny. Um, arguably, better than deny, right? So really, really like this spell. Uh, it's come up big in a lot of different scenarios where it's able to negate multiple spells. And same thing with like Twiz or even Discard Aggro. You know, those decks that are trying to, at the end of the game, just burst you down with Mystic Shots, Get Excited, whatever. Um, it's It basically just cancels out the stack, which is really, really a big deal. It even cancels out. I think I had a game one time where somebody denied one of my spells with a Karma, and so it was double deny, and then Red of Negation negates the double deny even, right? So um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool interaction. Otherwise, a lot of tiny units, a lot of units with discard fodder, or not discard fodder, um, self-harm fodder, right? Like this Prey, you can sack it. Um, you got Ravenous Butcher, obviously, is a pretty typical one. This is a great new card, Right of Calling. Um, kill an ally or destroy a mana gem to grab a champion. Seems pretty good. Pretty reliably get Thresh or Nasus pretty early in this deck. Um, you probably want Thresh more than anything. Uh, Thresh synergizes really well too. Not just because, yeah, sure, you can pull a Nasus or sometimes you even get two on the board. But mainly, you can challenge units and uh, increase that slay, right? The slay effect. Now, you have things like Spirit Leech. You have things like Blighted Caretaker, Fading Icon, Ravenous Butcher, like these are all gonna eclipse beyond. These are all gonna proc your slays, but you need ultimately to slay your opponent's uh, followers as well. If we're actually going to get towards a decent sized Nasus, very very doable to get Nasus up to twenty. I'll tell you that right now. You have about more than half of it, or half of the slays, I should say, like you know nine or ten slays just in the cards alone that you're playing that you'll get off probably during the game. And then as long as you're killing you know six or seven of your opponents followers or champions you're pretty good 
Oh, by the way, did I mention he's got spell shield on his level two? Mm, seems pretty good when you're trying to play an atrocity on him, right? Yeah. So uh, overall, this deck super super fun. Let's go ahead and get through some of these games. We got two Karma Ezra games, like I said. One of them starts a little bit later on in the game, but either way, they're both wins. It both it just feels really good. Uh, really really fun deck right now. Definitely pick this bad boy up. All right, you know what? Never mind. I'm taking it back. We're gonna do one game um, because a it's a very long game. Um, but B, I, I don't know. I, I was been I've been thinking about switching to just doing one game anyways, um, to just go a little bit more in depth because I usually speed up the games too. Um, this one is still sped up a little bit because it's so long, um, but it should be good. It's it's condensed a little bit thanks to that. So, anyways, all right, we have Karma Ezreal, which obviously we all know the goal of Karma Ezreal, right? You want to get Karma, uh, you know, enlightened. She doubles up the spells. You got a leveled Ezreal on the field at the same time, so. A couple different things that we need to play around as uh, the player going against Karma Ezreal, i.e. making sure we save removal for a Karma, just being able to hit the board. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So early game, really the goal here is against Karma Ezreal specifically, you can try to be aggressive, right? Um, you know, generally speaking, they don't have a whole lot of units early game. They could be playing Eye of the Dragon. That's an option. You see here, they actually went the Ballistic Bot route. Um, so they do have some chump blockers and whatnot, but you can definitely try to be the aggressor. And that's the good thing about this deck. And this is not just in the Karma Ezreal matchup. This is, you know, any decks that play a little bit slower. If you get the Cursed Keeper start uh, into, you know, a Blighted Caretaker or Ravenous Butcher or something like that, you can take these aggressive starts and really start to pressure the opponent, right? Uh, Black Spear. Uh, this, all right. So Black Spear, I actually love in this deck. This situation is really awkward. I think in a couple turns, we actually eventually use it on the uh, Ballistic Bot, I believe. So we'll, we'll see in a second. But I love it. Four damage is now super, super impactful. Uh, if you look at something like Kindred, Kindred is now a four health unit that you 100% are going to want to get rid of. And Black Spear becomes that much more valuable for that reason, right? So um, we're trying to save it. Mainly for a Karma or an Ezreal, right? That's the other thing. A leveled Karma and a leveled Ezreal both died of Black Spear. So suddenly this card has a lot of value. So there's been a couple uh, spots now where I can use this on Ballistic Bot, but I want to hold that back. I want to sit on it, see if I can get some better value out of it. And this Ballistic Bot isn't too threatening yet. I'm not really worried about the attack either because we could always chump block. You can see here, obviously, I'm going in for the attack here because my opponent's probably not going to want to block with the ballistic bot and sack it into one of these you know dinky dinky units on field instead we get yeah the static shock so and again opportunity here to play black spear i'm not sure if i do end up playing it i i, I think we end up having to our hand is just kind of forced um you see the rest of our hand right now we're starting to get gummed up on a lot of champions this does happen sometimes with this deck and that's why i'm using this black spear here because uh, if you notice as well we only have one unit left on field. There's no way to protect our units. We just have to hope we draw into another unit. You know, we get some praise on board or something like that. We run the risk if we don't play the Black Spear there of not having a unit that could die to activate the Black Spear again, which then just gives us another dead card in hand, which is a big problem. And let me be clear. This hand sucks. This, this is not a good hand. Uh, we just drew another Nasus too. So we're finally getting a Thresh down. Um, I waited specifically to play the Thresh on turn 6 because my opponent on turn 5 had the mana to actually play a Thermo Beam and kill it. So now we still get the Thermo Beam out to get the Thresh down to 1 health, which means I can't pull anything with it. So that's probably what my opponent was going for, just trying to protect this next Ballistic Bot here. Um, and the Ballistic Bots were definitely a pain for most of the game just sitting there on field and again i really did not want to invest much in removing them because i do know that it trades pretty much with every unit in my deck is going to be able to kill it right the ravenous butchers um the the fading icon wow i actually remember that name all right the fading icons uh the spirit leeches even so everything's pretty much going to trade with it i don't want to use anything to remove it this right of calling <laughs> i was pretty happy about this play this right of calling um it's complete bait i wanted to get removal out or something onto this Ravenous Butcher. I actually got super duper freaking rewarded and got it denied. Thank you, I will take that any day of the week. There are only two, um, two we have two of the, the Shuriman deny in our deck, right? So 
really getting rid of one of the deny out of uh, our opponent here is really, really big. And this allowed us also, now that they played the four mana, to get down Nasus. Again, having to play around that Thermo Beam. If I had played it before I had played that Red of Calling, then they possibly could have Thermo Beam. If they had another one, right? They, they already played one. So um, definitely always consider what your opponent has before you're sticking units to the board. Same reason why we're probably not getting a Karma down from our opponent yet, right? Generally speaking, they don't want to stick it until it's enlightened. And even if it is enlightened, they want to make sure when they stick it to the board, it's going to be safe. So they're playing around certain mana breakpoints of us, right? So they do finally get a Ezreal down, which feels a little bit bad. Um, there's not much I can do about this. That's the trade. I got my Nasus down. They're going to get their Ezreal down. It is what it is. Um, I considered box there for a second. But I got to tell you, when you're playing Nasus, one of the cards that feels super good versus any deck um, is Siphoning Strike. Now, we're not main decking it. This is his champion spell. But damn, is this a good champion spell. It's a good champion spell even if, it, like, or it's a good spell even if you're not running Nasus. It's pretty decent. Um, but it's so, so good. And this actually gets a second deny out of our opponent, which is why I felt okay playing it. Because we know one already came out. We also had the uh, deny in our hand as well, so we could go ahead and counter at least one deny. I was worried if they had a third deny, I was going to get pissed, but they didn't. <laughs> Instead, we just have the glimpse onto the Mystic Shot. So everything working out pretty pretty well for us thus far. Uh, that's the best thing about these, these Glimpse Beyonds and stuff like that, too. They're going to add plus one, plus one to this Nasus. And he's going to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what he does best. Uh, there's a little bit of a bug right now. Which is why that deny. If you guys are wondering, like, why the hell is there a deny floating in the middle of the board? Well, there's a visual bug. You gotta hover the eye and it goes away. I think I'll do that here in a second once this is played, I imagine. Um, so this, all right, this was a huge misplay. I screw this up big time. Like, I could have taken this game on this turn, probably. Um, I should not have open attacked there. I was, like, not even thinking about Concussive Bomb. Concussive Bomb completely punishes open attacks like that. And not only that, now our opponent's getting down a Karma, and we actually don't... Like, this is risky for them, too, but they're kind of on their last leg. Like, they don't really have a lot of options. There could have been a lot of ways I deal with this, um, but I can't. I actually can't, which now puts me in a situation where, great, they're going to have a leveled Karma sticking in the next turn. They probably have an Ezreal in hand. Now I could just lose the game, because at 14 health, I'm definitely at risk of losing the game. So, what do I have to do? Well... I'm going to start trying to dig. <laughs> That's really all I can do. Dig for answers. Uh, because right now, I still don't really have good answers in my hand. Now, Nasus is at 10. So, Nasus would be able to, uh, when he does strike, level up, get that spell shield. Because right now, we are within range of Atrocity. Uh, unfortunately, just no Atrocity in him. Again, this next Nasus top deck is super, super big. Again, already had two denies used from our opponent. Feel pretty safe about playing a spell like this prioritizing the karma versus the Ezreal. Um, I guess you could argue both ways. In this situation, I decided to take down the karma because we're ahead in advantage right now on our opponent, and I don't want them to be able to come back into this game by like playing freaking rummage eight times, and now you know they have 30 cards in their hand. That's really what I'm scared about. I'm not scared about losing to Ezreal right now. I'm at 14. They only have really four cards. The other cards are Ballistic Bot. There's almost no way they're going to burst me down unless they very specifically have like Rummage and the Deny and all this other crap, right? So want to go ahead, take the opportunity to kill the Karma when we can. And Siphon Strike is so good because plus three, plus three on Nasus is actually super important in a lot of matchups. There's been a lot of games I've played where that Siphoning Strike gets me that, that next, that like last additional buff to Nasus to put uh, uh, Nasus at an attack that's high enough to kill our opponent's nexus with atrocity. So definitely a, a really big deal here. Um, using our mana to get the heal out because of this Vault Breaker OTK our opponent's attempting here. Which actually, wait, that had to have been randomly. I'm pretty sure that was randomly created. I really hope this is not new Karma Ezreal's playing Vault Breaker. That would be insane. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's not terrible. Uh, but this is dangerous now because of that Vault Breaker. You know, we have three more damage coming from the Nexus Strike Mystic Shot. Uh, things are looking a little spicy. It's not cool. Withering Whale actually saves us the game off the top here. And this all happened. This all happened because of that screw up where I open attack. So learn from that. Especially when you're going into any deck playing something like Concussive Palm or something that operates, um, excuse me, similar to Concussive Palm. 
you don't want to open attack like that. If I had went wide with that blighty caretaker in the first place, I would have been fine. I might have even been able to close out the game because my opponent was so low. So uh, they are going for lethal. This two mystic shot represents lethal. I got the withering whale. Like I said, saved my ass here from that original mistake. They actually have, I think, another like they really top decked everything they needed to though. Um, I think it's another mystic shot. No, iterative improvement for an additional one. So I actually live at one health. Super, super duper close. Uh, but I was able to take it away. Now, generally, this is when we're playing Atrocity on the Nasus. But in this case, we don't even need it. We just send everything face. And God, this deck, honestly, so fun. Definitely check this bad boy out. All right, there we go. Nasus Thresh. Uh, didn't even really get to see the Atrocity there. But God damn, is... Even if we, if we had the Atrocity, it definitely would have closed out the game, right? We would have had to play it in response to those Mystic Shots. But the deck is so, so good. And you can see there that you can even win without the use of Atrocity, which is really awesome. So um, definitely try this deck. I highly recommend it. Super fun. I think it's a lot more fun than the old school Vehu who Endure decks that we're used to seeing. Uh, there's a lot more play around. You have that uh, Rite of Negation, which is super, super fun to play with right now. And um, yeah, but until next time. As always, everybody stay healthy, stay positive. I hope shit just works for you, and peace out.